I'm on my phone. I'm not, I'm supposed to be doing a video, but I'm on my phone. I'm sorry. Hold on one second. Hello, all of my pizza sluts. So today's video is going to be all about dating in New York City. I've lived here a month, so I know everything there is to know because I'm fucking smart. You know, just one month of living here and I know everything. I don't know shit, but I know some things, so I'm gonna be telling you guys about it. I have lived in a lot of different places. I've lived in Los Angeles, I've lived in Czech Republic, I lived in Connecticut. I have noticed a lot of differences in dating and I gotta say, New York City is one of the funnest places to date. So if you ever find yourself living here or hanging out here, like definitely download Tinder and have some cute Wall Street guy take you out for dinner because it's a fun time. Like, he'll be a douchebag, but it'll be fun. And the food will be great, especially if he takes you out for pizza. There is an endless supply of penises in the city, as I have noticed. And no, I'm not fucking everybody. I'm actually exclusive with one person, uh, so I'm only allowed to have one penis. But, you know, during my first couple of weeks here, there was that little gray area with Anwar and myself. So I like really didn't know what was going on. Like, were we exclusive? Were we not? Is he dating other people? So I took it upon myself to go out and date a few people myself. But I would only go on like one date with a person and like just get to know them. And I did not have sex with anybody else. I did not like cheat on him or whatever. Not that it would even be considered cheating because we are not official. More on that later. If you guys want an update video on myself and Anwar, click the thumbs up and let me know. So much going on with that. I've made so many videos about him already, but okay, anyways, I am getting so off track. So this is gonna be about the ugly truth of New York City dating. So the first thing that I've definitely noticed with every single guy that I have met, not just gone out with, but met in New York City is that they're all very, very pessimistic. I actually hung out with a guy this past weekend. It wasn't a date. We were just hanging out as friends around another group of friends. And I wanted to know his insight because he lives in Brooklyn. So I'm like, what are your thoughts about dating in New York City? Are you single? Are you seeing somebody? And he told me that all women in New York City are evil bitches. And I looked at him like, perhaps you're being a little dramatic. But no, he told me that that is the case, that he has been on over 50 Tinder dates and every single woman was a batshit crazy piece of shit. And I asked him if it's only New York City women and he said it's mostly New York City women, but if they're from Long Island, it's like even worse. So I'm like, oh my God. So basically New York City women are like demonic and Long Island women are just straight up Satan. Makes so much sense. It definitely struck me that this guy has had so many terrible experiences that he now just thinks that every single woman is heartless. But then I asked him, well, I live in New York City. So does that mean I am a heartless, crazy, psychotic, evil bitch? And he said, not yet. But he's like, come back to me in a couple of years and you probably will be. And I don't really know what to make of that. I definitely think that there is an unhealthy level of pessimism, not just amongst men in New York City, but also amongst women. Maybe because people have just worn themselves out so much with dating and gone out on so many dates that they just have lost that heartfelt connection feeling with people because it's just like, it's like a fucking factory of human beings here in New York City. It's like one after the other and it's easy to get burned out like that. Next thing I've learned is like everybody's fucking all the fucking time and sex is made so easy in New York City whereas in Los Angeles you have to get on the 405 and deal with an hour's worth of traffic just to get to your booty call. Here in New York City you can drink without any consequences because you don't have to drive anywhere. You can take a cab, you can take an Uber, you can take a Lyft so people are just constantly drinking and fucking. People go really hard in New York City, even if they're working nine to five, like seven days a week, they still find time to have sex and drink excessively. This is kind of like Sin City, I've noticed. Also, if you go on Tinder and you put someone in like a one mile radius, you're still gonna find like 500 men. Whereas in my hometown back in Connecticut, you put people in a one mile radius and it's everybody that you went to high school with and it's honestly terrifying and you don't really have that much of a selection. Here, it's endless supply. It's literally like the hottest, most successful guys all within two miles of you just ready to whip their dicks out. And there's also that added chance of you running into people constantly because the city is really not a big place and I have run into people before and it's been awkward as fuck. Next thing is an untold rule that not one but several people have told me, don't date Wall Street guys. Don't date any guy in finance. I don't know why, don't even expect me to explain this. This is just something that I have repetitively heard and I have it in the back of my head and it scares me and if you guys know why 
please let me know. It kind of makes me think back to that movie, The Wolf of Wall Street, and then I can kind of see why people say you shouldn't date Wall Street, guys. But at the same time, like, maybe they're not all bad. But see, that's that's me living here for a month. I'm still fucking optimistic. Next thing I've learned is that everyone is constantly waiting for the next best thing. Nobody wants to settle down because there is always someone hotter, richer, better. People here are like serial daters. Anwar kind of strikes me as that type of guy because he's dated so many girls. Like, he keeps telling me, like, oh, I did this girl, I did this girl, I did this girl, I did this girl. I'm like, how many fucking girls have you dated? Another thing I've learned is that people are generally very, very friendly. A lot of people think that New York City is a very cold and hostile environment where everyone is just an asshole. And yes, that may be the case. I see that a lot on like the subway or when people are rushing around during work hours. But nighttime, if you're out at a bar, people are generally really, really awesome. Even though I've been on unsuccessful dates since I have moved here, I wouldn't really consider them unsuccessful because I've still had fun with that person and in New York City you can share an absolutely magical evening with a total douchebag and have a great time and still enjoy his company but never talk to him again and that's totally fine. Everyone is asexual, pansexual, bisexual, try anything sexual, just there's so many different kinds of sexualities. People are extremely sexually open in the city and are willing to explore lots of different things. I don't know, there's something about the city that just makes me want to be gay. And I've definitely been getting in touch with my bisexual side ever since I moved to the city. More on that in another video. And the last thing that I've noticed is everyone just seems a lot cooler on paper, trying to make themselves seem more smart, more artistic, more educated, trying to make their jobs sound more exciting. And I think it's just because everybody that's in New York City is really trying to fit in and trying to pull off this persona of being a cool, New Yorker. I don't know, maybe everybody here is having an identity crisis. I think that I am fine with just like being myself and maybe I don't fit in. Maybe I am a weirdo. Maybe I'm not as successful or as smart as everybody here, but I think that's what makes me unique and interesting. So yeah, those are all of the things that I have learned about dating in New York City. That is the ugly truth. Let me know what your thoughts are on all of this and leave me some comments in the comment section below and yeah that's gonna be it for today's video make sure